Ooh, we got some road surface hazards and road debris on here. Let's go take a look at this one. Ryan, welcome. Today All right, Douglas Blackwood. Situation showing how dangerous and secure cargo can be, especially if unsecured cargo. Oh no! So this is when we. Have Ooh, what caused that to happen? Now we're gonna go over five tips here. Okay, so this is gonna be the first tip. We're gonna to try to remember which ones we're going through. But what do you think caused that camera angle? to switch like that all of a sudden. Write in the comments. I'll give you a, the tip afterwards and what I believe it should be and what you should be practicing uh, so that that part doesn't happen. Okay, so we do have road surface hazards. We do have a median here. We can't swerve left. Can we swerve right? I think we can swerve right. How do you go over an obstacle? Write that in the comments too. Just kidding, I'll go ahead and tell you. What you wanna do is lift your butt up off the seat a little bit, use your feet uh, on the pegs and get your get your legs up so what you're doing there is creating a suspension with your legs because if you hit that back tire on the object, it's going to try to buck you off. You can also blip the throttle before going up over it. A little lockup action, Caleb, exactly. So what we can do to prevent this lockup action right here because we locked up that rear tire and it lost traction and we released uh, the brake. So he probably slammed that rear tire or rear brake, locked it up and, and then did that, but he released it so it went straight again. for bikers. Because it's a little bit of a panic, right? So we're talking about brown stage here. So what brown stage does and what we see from these videos is it's going to tell you that you need to be practicing, okay? It's, 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 a, it's an indicator I need more practice. And so we locked up the rear tire. Cool. So what we need to be doing is progressive braking, and that's how we're going to practice a little bit more. But what we can do maybe is swerve to the right. And if we can't swerve to the right, how do we go over an obstacle? Like I said, blip the throttle, lift your butt up off the seat, and go over it as smooth as possible, as straight as possible. I'd probably aim for the left. Um, instead of going over the metal pieces, but see how he went over it? Okay, check your tires afterwards. So tip number one, practice progressive braking. All right, Gian Rafaldi. Let's see if I can, ooh, that's what it looked like. What was going on? He, was, he kept locking up his brakes. That's exactly what the first video looked like. But this is from his perspective. So practice your braking. A little bit of a panic. You see how it's just his... Oh, he's pulling, he's pulling in his clutch. Look at it. He's pulling in his clutch. A little bit of a panic. He, doesn't, he reaches for that front brake. He doesn't pull in that front brake at all. So what do you think he's doing? He's using that rear brake. Only rear braking. Exactly, Ryan. Only rear braking. He has the clutch pulled in all the way. It was a panic. Pure panic. So, slow it down. I get it. You're going to learn from it. So, practice your braking. Don't slam that, that rear brake. Use some of that front brake. Slow it down and then make the turn. Don't pull in that clutch all the way the whole time because now you're coasting and only braking. That's what we were having issues with. A little bit of a panic. Fred Manbry. Here we go. Whoa. Tip number two. Check your pants after every ride when something like that happens. Let's move on. We're in tip number three now. Dragon Rider Productions. Open lane pattern. Switches over. Okay. 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 Not a big deal. We saw that. We saw that before it happened. We saw that before it happened. All right. Big Jim Bob 3737. Here we go. Riding through the mountains with our buddies. Look at the GoPro. I want to get a GoPro. Or not a GoPro. Uh, the 360 camera on the back. Oh! Ooh! Left side, so mechanism of injury here. Oh, we lost traction immediately. So something there must have been something on the ground. He wasn't leaning that far. Yep, there was a road surface hazard, I'm pretty sure. So when we're talking about mechanism of injury, what kind of damage could happen because of the kind of impact? So if you got speared through the chest, what kind of injury? It's gonna be different than when somebody throws a baseball at your head. So we have left side damage, the possible shoulder, possible okay. clavicle, possible head injury. You're okay. He's got good GoPros and everything. He's got the 360. Look, he's got chin mounts too, by the way. Take a look. He's got a chin mount. You're okay. Uh, that's a that's a chin mount. Now link in description for uh it's a referral code. You get 10% off. I use chin mounts. Uh, I just think they're really cool. Um, but yeah, stayed stayed there. That's all that matters. Stayed there. That's all, dude. You were killing the game. Is he using a Cardo? Yeah. It's okay. That's a Cardo Pack Talk Bold, baby. Yeah, man. I'm fine. You sure? Play down. We'll get the Probably. break. Okay. Yeah, you're doing good, Lay man. Down, you're doing we'll good. Bike. Yep. Good friends. Good friends. I like that. I like that. Here. Yeah, it's going to be pretty heavy lifting it up like that. See if you can roll, uh, put it in, it should be in gear. 
It should be in gear, so it shouldn't roll. Oh, it did a little bit. I ah, gotta get yourself a quad lock, though. Gotta get yourself a quad lock. Anyways, for <laughs> Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to read his name. Dumb ways to die. Yeah, I was trying to read his name. I didn't see that part. Let's go back. All right, so side of the vehicle, and then we had an impact. Okay, we're probably trying to apply some brakes. It didn't work out too well. This is why we wear full gear. Icy's Island. P pick your feet up. New rider. You can tell it's a new rider. Ooh, hit those leafs. Look at his left knee. You don't see his left knee. Hands are kind of screwed up. A little bit embarrassed. A little bit of pain. It's going to remind you. Oh, no. Sadly. Unexpectedly. I think it was the leaves. I, I still don't know till this day. Okay. Let's figure it out then, buddy. Let's figure it out. All right. So we're going around a corner. Okay. So let's, let's go and figure it out. So the main goal is to not get near the sides. Okay. The main goal is not to get near the sides. The main goal, let's go ahead and uh, make it a little bit. There we go. So he's coming through a corner. He's, he's in an intersection, has his feet down. The main goal is not to get to near the sides. The main goal is to get uh, where we're supposed to be in the lanes because on the edges and on the sides, the problem we have there is that we're gonna have debris, like the leaves, okay? We're gonna have debris. Uh, you can tell he's a brand new rider because we're keeping our feet down. We're not trusting the balance of the bike. We're not trusting what we can do. Putting our feet up makes it to where we're completely involved with the bike. So having our feet down kind of gives us this sense of uh, sense of safety when in reality, once, you, once your foot touches the ground at, at speed, it's gonna rip your foot back, which is gonna cause you to lose more balance. So actually keeping your feet up is very important. And that's why when we uh, practice the Smart Rider drills, we're trying to do that ourselves. So it's a parking lot practice exercise. So what we can see here, what we can learn about, uh, so tip number, let's just say three, tip number three, uh, slow speed maneuvers, practice your slow speed maneuvers. This was a tight turn from a stop, turning left onto a road. You, you learn to put your feet up, so you need to learn your friction zone. You learn to turn the handlebars, turn your head. So I like to put my chin on my shoulder to really look at where I need to go. And then once you start moving, pick those feet up and trust your bike. And you have to actually trust it. It means you have to put the inputs into it. So turn the handlebars, look where you want to go, friction zone, throttle control, and get yourself through it. So that's what we can do. Tip number three is slow speed maneuvers. Practice it with the Smart Rider drills. There's booklets that we have the MTC Rider Academy that will teach you all of that stuff. Um, but the leaves, yes, yeah, so that's a road surface hazard. So road surface hazard right here. We lost traction, okay? It's a road surface hazard. It's basically like ice at that point, especially with this many leaves. And that's what happens. The front tire lost traction. We put our hands down. So as a smart rider, make sure that we're acquiring and using personal protective equipment just in case something like this happens. The gear is supposed to help out, not just mitigating injuries, but maybe mitigating some of the lack of skill that you have because if you do crash, hopefully you can continue riding. I dropped it, sadly. Luckily, he didn't hit his face. Frankly, I think it was the leaves. I, I still don't know until this. It was the leaves. Yeah. Bike is life on the Kentish roads. Quad lock. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh, did you actually knock it off all the way? Oh. Soon, I think as soon as he sees that he knocks it off, he's going to take off. Oh, he's not. Very nice. Good. I thought he was about to take off. I I, uh, I assumed I made an ass out of me. Very good. God. Very good. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. I swear they moved over. Linaris, you're a beginner. You're on a high but very tiny horse. Is it a Grom? There you go. Very good. I like to see this. I'm going to let it play. Typically, we skip all the road rage stuff. But this right here, that's exactly what you should be doing. Help him out. Bring it back. Oh, so Ricky, that public road is not a racetrack and learn a very expensive but valuable lesson. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so there's a little bit of a I was in the way of everybody. Let's go and take a look. Let's take a look. So we got the wheelie going. We lost traction. We something happened, it's all blurred out. This is why I want to have a stunt course. So Brian636. Let's chat, buddy. I want to see if we can put together a very intro beginner how to stunt, or at least what you need to be aware of when it becomes or when it comes to stunting, so that people aren't just doing crazy random stuff that they think is what stunting is. I want people to understand it. So Brian636, uh, we I have your email. I'll go ahead and email you. But 
if anybody sees this, write in his comments of his videos. I think he's still in Japan or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, I want people to know how to stunt if they're going to stunt. Very quickly that public road is not a racetrack and learn a very expensive you know? but valuable lesson. I want people to know what they're doing. People are going to do it anyways. Let's see if we can get gear on board. Let's see if we can get some basic fundamentals going so people understand. Dimitri S, here we go. Whoa, side of the vehicle, good job. Going through an intersection at an orange stage. So this is orange stage situation. Good job with the progressive braking. What tip are we on? Tip number three? Let's say tip number four now. We'll do tip number four. Open lane pattern right there. That white vehicle might come out in your lane, buddy. You're in the blind spot now. There it is. Tip number four, pattern recognition. Pattern recognition. We are coming up to here. Our lane is moving quicker. The, the, the BMW is, is stuck behind the red car, doesn't want to be a part of that situation anymore, sees an open spot right in front of us, decides to want to come over. We're, we're going with the flow of traffic right here. We're entering the blind spot. That's the moment they decided to go. We rolled off the throttle because we're going at speed. That's all we had to do. Great job. It looks like there's a beard involved here. You can see kind of flowing in the wind up on the, on the bottom right. Absolutely beautiful. Probably a smart rider. Probably watches this channel. Douglas Black, here we go, same thing. Watch out for the right, we're in the blind spot. Ooh, we got a little bit of a road surface hazard. How dangerous got caught. Cargo can be. Don't panic. The commandable behavior of the right. So at this point, don't panic. Look for your exit on the right. See what you can do if you can. Yeah, you don't want that caught up. Get up in your chain if it doesn't want to rip. Okay, it's stuck on a shifter. Yeah, see how it can get all, yeah, it can get tangled and lock you up and then yeah, we're gonna have to like cut that thing. Oof. There you go, there you go. Hey, and he's not gonna litter either. Hey, Douglas. I like his stuff. Anyways, uh, Anthony. Okay, we got one more tip. We got one more tip to do. Ooh, uncommon thing in a common situation. Cars are supposed to be on the road, but it's uncommon that they're gonna be in, stuck in the middle. They lost, uh, missed this turn probably. We got really close to that car, but great job with the swerve. Yeah, they got lost. I think they missed their exit. I think this was the exit they were supposed to go on and decided just to stop. Like, like dingbats. I, don't know, I was gonna say something worse, but uh, decided to swerve to the right. Very good. They got an RPM membership over at Revzilla. Good swerve. Good swerve. It was really good. They were pretty dumb though. They're they're dum dums. D U M D U M. <laughs> Moto stars. I just love the music you had. The motorcycle channel. All right, let's take a look. What do we got here? 360 camera. Very good. Anybody going to merge into us? Oh, it's a corner. We're going to low side, aren't we? It's a sharp corner. You see the chevrons? Are we going to low side? Okay, camera is switching over. Oh! You did a little bit of editing and you took it off yourself before we could actually see it. Let's take a quick look at that again. So we got a sharp corner. We're getting pretty far deep into that with the body language. And then we just lost it. And so we are tumbling. So low side, guys. More than likely a little low side. A little bit of a low side. Wear full gear. Wear full gear just in case. Hopefully he's doing fine. Acquire and use person. There you go. He's walking. All right. Property of Hard City Raindrops slash YouTube. Okay, Hard City Raindrops. We're going to go ahead and talk over it because here's the thing. is fair use. I'm only going to use parts of it that I need to use, and this is what I'm going to use. Nice graphics, nice editing. Um, I could either turn it into a parody, I can change it to where I'm not affecting your, uh, your commercial enterprise. Uh, but in fact, here's what I'm just going to do. I'm going to go and skip it because this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. You, you got in trouble. You're going to get upset. You get, you're getting handcuffed, getting put in the back of the car, uh, probably criminal speeding, uh, oh, just detained. Eh, it looks like you got back on. Okay. Very good. You got detained. I'm not even going to talk about it. So we're just gonna go ahead and assume things. That's the problem when it comes to, oh, I have, I have copyright over things. All right, here we go. 
Motor, oh, why'd they switch over? What are they doing? It's hard to understand the driver's behavior. Without any real Good job applying the brakes and getting himself out of there. Putting him in a difficult situation. This guy's just being a turd. Okay, if your buddy's way up front, because he got past, he was able to get past the truck and you can't, that's where talking on your Cardo Pack Talk edges, because you guys can communi communicate with each other. It's like, hey, that truck that you pass is being a, 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 a D bag, is not letting me pass. So that your buddy up front doesn't just keep going super fast and wonders where you're at. Full send off road. Okay, we still got one more tip we gotta do. All right, we got the passenger right here. Okay, watch out. This truck might wanna switch over so you have a shoulder to swerve onto. Okay, very good. We're gonna find an open spot. That person also found the open spot. Accelerated past that person. Get back in the lane. There you go. Good job. Very good. Cars are braking ahead, so I slowed. Watch out, open spot again. Open lane pattern. You're in the blind spot now. Cuts into my space cushion. I love the fact that people are saying space cushions now. I love it. I, you don't see that very often. Thank you, Purr, with the, with the 30. I leaned on the horn since they had been pushing around. Okay. They switched over. They switched over in front of you. It was an open lane pattern. Not that big of a deal. You handled it. Are they going to switch back over? Great air horn. They're gonna take that, they, they, they're just gonna do it. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Yeah, they're being, they're being, they're being douchebags over here. What are you doing? Yeah, you were gonna walk up to see what's going on, but this is where an escalation kind of happens, this is where, doing a little bit of a box breathing, breathe in for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, and just kind of go in for four, out for four, in for four, out for four, in for four, and by the time you get around to that box two to three times, you're calmed down. So it's just good to do. It's easier said than done though. Another open lane pattern. So here's tip number five, everybody. Watch out for those open lane patterns. I believe I've already used that tip today, but who cares? Tip number five, watch out for open lane patterns. Allow them to go in, apply progressive braking. Really? Don't worry about it too much and stop getting angry. I'm sorry. You're not even gonna say we just talked about it. The basic smart rider course yeah, makes it to where this is all a game. It's all color coded. You have the plan method. You understand what's going on. You see the patterns and behaviors before everyone does anything and you're able to handle the situations like an adult. So sign up for the MTC Rider Academy. Link's in the description. It should be popped up on the screen when you're watching this after the live stream. But with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I will be seeing you guys later.